Hey everyone, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jantz from Nintendo Prime, and this video is just kind of a quick channel update slash Patreon update slash lots of, of, of updates because it's been a while since I've really talked directly to you guys about the future of Nintendo Prime and where I'm trying to take this YouTube channel uh, and any other entities we do. And the first thing I want to talk about is the Nintendo Prime podcast. Now, today, at some point today, I have some new equipment arriving for the podcast. I have, a, I have a mixer, which I've never used an actual mixer before. I've been trying to mix all the audio on my computer, and it's been a pain in the butt. A real mixer is going to help. You know, and It turns out like the mics I thought were broken. It might be the cord, so I need to get some more cords, and I don't know if those are arriving today or not. Um, but I, I've invested you know, a pretty significant chunk of money to try to make sure the audio quality of that podcast rises. And in addition, uh, it turns out that even uh, the Blue Yeti microphone that I typically use for a lot of my recordings, I can actually increase the audio quality over what my Blue Yeti microphone does with my other microphones, which are actually cheaper than the Blue Yeti, just because they're proper condenser mics. Uh, and I do have you know ind independent power for them and you know, getting them into a proper mixer uh, that has pre-amplifiers and all this stuff. I'm, it's going to be awesome because right now it's been a pain in the butt recording with those mics. Uh, I've even had issues recording with the Blue Yeti mic, which I think is a great mic for people who are just starting out and don't want to buy any additional audio equipment. Could not suggest the Blue Yeti mic any more than I already do. Uh, but for the equipment I bought, you know, if you're interested in starting your own audio podcast and stuff, I'll have links to this stuff down in the description in case you are, are looking into my setup and, and what I am currently using for the podcast. Now, the reason I want to talk about the podcast is because over the past couple episodes, which I realize there's only been two, about two episodes of the podcast over the last six weeks, uh, I've noticed that you guys are really loving the podcast. Uh, it is quickly becoming one of our highest viewed uh, things that we do at the channel. So there are two things I, I want to, well, really three things I want to say about the podcast. Uh, one is I really want to get this podcast to become a weekly show. I would not have invested uh, <laughs> the very little limited funds I have into increasing the audio quality and getting proper podcasting equipment if I didn't want to make this into a weekly show. However, I can't guarantee that it's weekly at this point uh, because, unfortunately, I have bills to pay. It's, it's just kind of the way the world works, uh, which is why on Patreon.com, we have what I consider to be a pretty low goal to try to make this a weekly show, and that is on Patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. If we can get to $100, that would enable me to know that there's enough people that care about the podcast to want to make this thing happen every single week. And there's a lot of work that goes into the podcast behind the scenes. I know a lot of the video content you see uh, might seem like it's easy. It's not. There's, there's a lot of work. Even though there's still images, I imagine like, the workload can get even higher, um, especially as we increase the quality on the channel. But the podcast requires a lot of work. There's a lot of research I have to do uh, to, to, to deal with the, just the topics we're going to talk about. Um, and outside of organizing things or trying to get Eric over to do the podcast with me, I also have to try to consider now, especially after the last two episodes, how to get other people into the podcast because we're not going to have other people come into the studio very often uh, to be able to join the podcast in person. So because we're a video podcast, we have them record their own videos and their own audio, and we splice everything together in editing, and it's a lot of work. And yes, I actually have now, as of like two months ago, an editor, like hired an editor to specifically edit just the podcast. And they've done a fantastic job. And <laughs> I'm hoping to make things a bit more streamlined for them so it doesn't have to be so difficult, which is why I want to increase the audio quality and do all the stuff that I'm doing, why I purchased this equipment to make things easier. And obviously, if they ever decide they'd like to move on to another job, it comes back onto me, which creates even more work for me. Uh, but it's a lot of a, a lot of time organizing all this, and for just a hundred dollars a month, which is nothing. I mean, I might ask if you give me a hundred, you know, collectively a hundred dollars a month is one of our goals on Patreon. It it just really ensures to me that the time I am putting in is worth it for you guys. That you guys care enough about this project, about the podcast, as I do. Now, uh, a lot of our Patreon stuff is actually geared around the podcast itself. As an example, at the $5 tier, you get early access to the audio version of the podcast, which is essentially uh, the entirety of 
the podcast. Because right now, you know, the podcast is segmented over five days. The audio version is not segmented. It, it is the full hour and a half, two hours, two and a half hours, however long the podcast ends up being that week, uh, available a full day before it's available to the public. Now, I am considering also releasing a uh, a full video version and this is the conversation I actually want to have with you guys right now we segment the podcast over four to five days with, with, with each topic becoming its own video and I kind of got that idea admittedly from kind of funny games and I because I really like that style giving individual attention to each topic plus it's really really hard to properly title a video on YouTube when you've got five different topics in that video in fact a show I, I watch pretty often is the Philip the Franco show and he kind of titles his videos after one topic even though in that video he might be covering three or four and there's no really other way to do it so I just want your opinion on if you would continue to want to see this podcast segmented over four or five days or if you'd rather see it as one long video podcast kind of like what Easy Allies does um, and uh, what the cynical Brit does and all that stuff, Total Biscuit, where you see uh, just one, you know, one and a half hour, two hour long video podcast versus the segmented. I leave that up to you guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And we're adding a new tier based on a fan suggestion to Patreon. This is a $20 tier. And I know that sounds like a lot of money. I currently don't even have $20 to submit to this tier if I wanted to. Um, but this $20 tier is a special thing to me because this is the tier where you guys can come join us on the podcast. You can come, you you get to come and guest on the podcast. Yes, you're going to need to be able to record your own video. Yes, you're going to need to be able to even record your own audio. And I'm hoping that your video and audio are of decent quality. But the idea here is if you submit a $20 pledge to our Patreon, at least one podcast per month, you will be personally invited by me to join us on the Nintendo Prime podcast. So even if we have a full four people on the podcast, you would be number five. Or I would end up booting out one of our people and you would be number four to hit our, what I feel is the, the, the perfect amount of people on the podcast. So again, I am just throwing that out there. This is a chance for you fans to get your face out in front of the public. Uh, there are no, currently no other tiers in terms of you know money you can pledge. You can always pledge more than twenty dollars, more than a dollar, which is the bottom tier, or more than five if you want. Uh, I thought about throwing in the sponsorship tier, but I don't I don't know if I'm ready to take on full on sponsorships right now. Uh, it's just not something I'm willing to consider until maybe I uh, make this more of a business license deal. Because right now Nintendo Prime is all on me. Like ever, the business is in my name. Uh, it's not in any other name. It's, I, I'm not personally protected with an LLC or anything. Uh, that's something that I'm not going to even consider until we're probably over 100,000 subscribers. Now, setting all of that aside, uh, there are a couple other things that I am looking at on Patreon in terms of stretch goals. Uh, I believe the $500 tier is where I bring back the Boss Man series. And for those who don't know, because the Boss Man series hasn't been around since February, and uh, before that it wasn't even around for like a year, the Boss Man series is essentially another video series with me. I mean, that's what, uh, this is my channel. <laughs> uh, but it's kind of a ranty series. And you'll see I've done rants, you know, and I'll still have my, my little rants here and there. But this is a dedicated series. It, it, it's like an editorial-like rant. Um, that has me on camera doing a more professional presentation of whatever the topic may be. It's fully scripted, and it, I mean, I even read off a teleprompter my script. Like, it's, and I don't even have a teleprompter. It's really weird how I do it. Uh, but I make it work, and it's something I enjoy, and I do try to make sure the editing on those episodes are of a higher quality, especially since this is a stretch goal. So, I mean, you're paying to see us. Uh, have this higher quality video content. And this is a weekly show, so it would come out once per week. Um, and, and I believe the $1,000 stretch goal, I'm pretty sure that is the weekly news recap show, which again would have me on camera and would just be recapping all of the biggest Nintendo-related news from that week every Friday or Saturday. I haven't really decided on what day that would arrive, but that's if we ever get to that goal. I don't know if we're ever going to reach even the, the $100 goal, let alone the $500 and $1,000 tier. Uh, and then I get crazy after that because uh, now we're, we're delving into areas where, <laughs> um, 
I, I don't honestly think we're ever going to hit, but if we do, that's awesome. As an example, the $3,000 tier is where I launch a second gaming podcast that talks about the rest of the video game industry. And this would be a bi-weekly podcast, and it will release all in one segment just because I don't want it to overshadow all the Nintendo stuff we do. I mean, we're Nintendo Prime. That's where our focus is going to be. Uh, but that other that, that secondary podcast would be just that. It's a secondary podcast uh, that lets you know we do pay attention to the rest of the industry. Uh, I try not to be super, super biased to Nintendo, even though we are a Nintendo entity. And as people say, you know, it'd be nice if people held Sony and Microsoft to the same standards. I do hold Sony and Microsoft to the same standards, but you are not going to see that on Nintendo Prime typically uh, outside of a podcast like that. So... Uh, and whether or not that kind of podcast would lead to the launch of a second channel and other things, I have no idea. That's so far in the future, I'm trying not to think about it. Uh, beyond that, I just want to address a few other things going on in the Nintendo Prime community. Uh, some people have noticed that I, I've gotten a little bit of my facts incorrect in some of my recent videos uh, over the past week. And I do apologize for that. I am not someone who wants to give you factually incorrect information. Uh, I do not know everything. I know I do not know everything. And I know sometimes we think we know everything and then new information comes up and it turns out we really didn't know anything. I mean, think how many times the global warming thing has gone back and forth. Oh, global warming's caused by man. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. And there's been facts supporting all the sides on that. Uh, and you know, now I'm of a firm believer that we at least are a, a, a big contributor to global warming. Uh, even if global warming does happen naturally and history has shown that it happens naturally, like history shows we're overdue for an ice age as an example. So, uh, but I, I, I do not like getting things factually incorrect. So I apologize and I own up to it. Like if I get things wrong, let me know. I want to make sure I'm doing everything 100% right for you guys, for the community. Now, other aspects um, I'm learning as our YouTube channel is growing, and if, by the way, thank you so much for subscribing, is the idea that I should quit YouTube. And the idea that, <laughs> as one person DM'd me on Twitter, uh, that I should go kill myself. I realize that this is, you know, a very, this is a 1% part of the community. Uh, and it's something that I've dealt with over my years. You know, I, I haven't been in the industry for 20 years um, without dealing with some of this stuff before. But that was at Zelda Informer primarily. And Zelda Informer has like a million followers, uh, had 40,000 people viewing the website every single day. And I was like the face of the website for almost eight years. So I, I kind of knew that backlash was coming. And I still see it sometimes on the Zelda Informer Facebook page. But uh, it, it's interesting seeing it in such a small community like Nintendo Prime. Uh, and it's not just exclusively YouTube. It leaks over to Twitter. It leaks over into Facebook. It leaks over sometimes into my email. Um, I'm hoping it never leaks over into my home. I would hate to see people show up to my home making threats. That would suck. But, uh, yeah, it, it, I don't like it. Uh, I can't stop it. People, this is the Internet. It's going to happen. Um, but I just want people who do see this happen uh, to, you know, not not worry too much. It doesn't bother me. I, I'm, I'm okay uh, with the backlash. I understand when people get angry when I get stuff incorrect. That's fine. You should absolutely be mad at me for spreading false information. Uh, but understand that I'm not doing it intentionally. And <laughs> uh, just because you disagree with my opinion on some things doesn't necessarily mean I should quit YouTube. You should probably just quit watching my YouTube channel. Um, I mean... It, what I do at Nintendo Prime is largely opinion-based. Yes, I report on Nintendo news. Uh, I talk about Nintendo news. I have a whole website, NintendoPrime.net, that is kind of uh, on the back burner for me. But that's you know where I'm going to have like just like straight news reports and all that stuff. But what I do here at the channel is talk about Nintendo. It's talk. It's opinions. It's you're going to get the news, but you're also going to get my thoughts on that news. Uh, and that's just my style of doing things. That's what I've always wanted to do. That's honestly what I wanted to do at Zelda Informer, and it really took me realizing the YouTube format is the proper way to be doing this in the first place. And I probably should have been here on YouTube for years now uh, doing this Nintendo Prime thing, but whatever, better late than never. Uh, so, yeah, I, I do all that stuff. I don't really view myself as a gaming journalist anymore. 
I used to be a gaming journalist at Zelda Informer. I would definitely classify myself as having journalism experience. I was editor-in-chief. I was in charge of a whole writing team. And yes, I even have a writing team for Nintendo Prime, a small one. But uh, it's, it's not something I view as what I am now. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a content creator now. That's what I view myself as. All my, all, everything else is kind of secondary. Like I manage social media. Um, I, I create memes at times and I, uh, you know, deal with staff members that, that are writers and not writers and blah, 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 blah. I manage people. I, I have a lot of, a lot of experience with that, but, um, I'm a YouTuber. I'm a content creator. I'm here for you. Uh, and beyond all that, I just want to know, uh, so I just want to briefly bring up why I don't have, uh, gameplay, I guess, associated with my videos, why they're still images, uh, this is because of Nintendo's Creators Program primarily. Uh, the Nintendo's Creator Program is fine. You get 70% of, or 60%, I think, because I'm not, I'm not a full partner. Because I, I'll never be a full partner with the Creators Program, even if I wanted to be. Uh, because it would mean I have to really restrict the content I make. Because it can only be the games they have whitelisted. Uh, and anything that doesn't even use their gameplay, like the Nintendo Prime Podcast, would be claimed by Nintendo. Why should I give Nintendo, uh, you know... 30% of my revenue off of the prop off the podcast. That doesn't make any sense um, when it's completely original content with none of their none of their trademarks or anything in it. So when we look at YouTube, Nintendo claims a bunch of money. They claim all the videos that have their their content in it. And I have I don't have any problem sending some videos through through the creators program. You'll notice if you look at over the last few months, we do have some videos that have Nintendo footage in it. And we ran those through the creators program and we see, you know, a $10 kickback from Nintendo or, or whatever the case may be. Uh, the problem is when you're a channel that is trying to, that's very topical, very opinionated, very trying to keep up with the current flow of things. When you have to send things through the creators program, it could have delays of several days. And by the time the video gets approved by Nintendo for the creators program, the topic you're talking about might not be relevant anymore. So we don't really use Nintendo footage because we don't want to delay content uh, to you. And obviously, you know, we don't make much on YouTube as it is. So we would like to maximize, uh, the revenue stream so I can continue to bring this content to you every day. Now, beyond that, uh, a lot of other studios have issues as well. Uh, we tried putting Puyo Puyo Tetris in a video once and Konami claimed it. And we tried uh, talking to Konami about it. They were not interested in it. They're just like Nintendo. Uh, and they don't even have a creator's program. So any video that uses their footage from their, their, content ID games you just cannot make a revenue off of so we're not doing that now we could just do straight indie games but again because I'm trying to keep up with the greatest and latest Nintendo games or some of the AAA games that come out on switch uh, it's hard for me to buy enough indie games and I get I'm worried that as an example the only indie game I own on switch right now is snipper clips and Nintendo for starters Nintendo content IDs sn snipper clips but uh, let's say I still own the binding of Isaac which I used to own for switch uh, every single video for the last two and a half months would just feature Binding of Isaac footage. And while some of you might think it's awesome because you love the Binding of Isaac, I feel like in general I would get bored as would our fans get bored if that's the only footage I'm recording and posting uh, for two and a half months in every single video. I don't think that makes a lot of sense. I don't have the budget to continue to do that. Maybe someday when I have a bigger budget and I can buy a, more, a bigger variety of indie games on Switch or on 3DS, uh, then I'll be able to expand uh, what games that you see and eventually be able to have indie game footage and, and be a big supporter of indie games. But right now, that's just not feasibly possible. Uh, the other solution is right now to have me on camera more often like you're seeing right now. Uh, in the backgrounds like my computer and some Amiibo. Um, not a lot of Nintendo stuff. This is kind of like a, a small section of my office slash studio. Uh, but that's another solution is just having me on camera more often. And it is something I'm considering because I am the face of Nintendo Prime. I am Nintendo Prime. Like when people say Nintendo Prime, I should be the very first thing they think about. Or or maybe on the podcast, you just think Eric is that sexy. So you, I mean, that's why you come to Nintendo Prime. That's fine. He's a beast. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's something that is an ever evolving process here at Nintendo Prime. And I'm hoping as we grow, uh, as we, we see you know, higher revenue streams either through Patreon, through uh, AdSense, or whatever the case may be, um, that's when I plan to start upping the quality of the videos. Uh, right now, obviously, I'm focusing on the audio quality, 
but I, I really want to focus on the video quality as well. Uh, and one aspect that holds back the me being on camera thing is, well, I don't actually have a proper camera. Uh, this footage you're seeing right now, I believe I recorded it in 4K 30 FPS. I'm not 100% sure, but it's being recorded with my cell phone. And it gets really grainy, and cell phone footage is extremely hard to work with in editing. Uh, it is not at all what I want the future of Nintendo Prime to be. Uh, so, yes, I do, you know, once again, once the revenue streams catch up and I'm able to support my family, plus have that extra money to reinvest back into the company, uh, like I do with the audio equipment, I do want to get a proper camera. And that'll obviously up the quality of the podcast and, you know, be able to ensure that I can do more more content like this. And, and maybe even a video log once in a great while when, when I'm doing, like right now, uh, today would be an awesome day to do a video log as I am... Um, attempting to going to be setting up new audio equipment and reorganizing the entire office space and studio and, and, and make it all fancy. Um, and again, the studio is in my office. So I don't know. Is this a studio? Is it an office? I think it's both. <laughs> um, and someday I would love to get into like an actual separated workspace from my home. Uh, but I mean, we got to have like a million subs by then. <laughs> so uh, that's uh, we might never even get to that point. I mean, Game Explains not even at that point. Uh, we might never get there. But, uh, yeah, I, I love what I do at Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for supporting our content. Uh, check us out at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. If you happen to have some disposable income and want to show me a little love, either to support my family or just in general supporting what we do here at Nintendo Prime, I'm trying my best to bring the best possible Nintendo content I, I can to you. I have so many ideas for top tens and gaming theories and uh, just general editorials, whether they're rants or whether they're high-researched ones. Um, I'm, I'm currently working on a product review of the, uh, the, the Rav Power stuff. I've got two of these bad boys um, that I, I'm, I'm trying to uh, do some battery testing on and try to give you guys some awesome solutions for battery banks for your Switch. Uh, this content is all time-consuming and takes... And takes it, it takes up my day, man. And I love doing this content. So uh, if, you, if you love it as much as I do, I hope you find it a, a way to support us, whether it's just watching our content, subscribing to our channel, or supporting us more directly through Patreon. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jance from Nintendo Prime. That's going to do it. I'll see you in the next one.